Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So the queen of rap, the queen of music, and Lizzo um, make history because About Damn Time, Super Freaky Girl, and Break My Soul are the best-selling downloads released in 2022. Three black women are on this list with Harry Styles and Jack Harlow um, with As It Was and obviously First Class. So congratulations to, you know, Nikki, Queen B, and Lizzo because at the end of the day, Queen B got 25 years in the game, still topping the charts. And Nikki got 15 years in the game, still topping the charts. And, you know, she went through a lot in 2018. So the fact that she was able to still remain on top, that says a lot about people still wanting to see Nikki win. Okay. Despite, you know, the hate she gets on social media, people are still looking for Nicki Minaj. She's still in demand. So congratulations to these ladies. And then also I want to clarify things in regards to my reading I did um, yesterday in regards to Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj. To be quite honest, I did not even want to do the reading with Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj only because I know that there are a lot of hybrid barbs that are equally obsessed or they love, you know, Doja Cat so much and they want Nicki and Doja Cat to be the best of friends, right? But when I did the reading, I was just as shocked as everybody else. Um, and I want to clarify when I said that, you know, in the future, they will have a tower moment. A lot of fans were saying, well, Doja Cat don't need Nikki. She's topping the charts. Um, she's not an opportunist like Megan Thee Stallion, blah, blah, blah. Well, Doja Cat doesn't need Nikki. Nobody necessarily needs another artist, right? But 50% of Doja Cat's fans or barbs. Let's be clear. And I don't like when people try to pretend like that's not true. Y'all know damn well 50% of the barbs support Doja Cat. And Doja Cat knows that. Okay? Most female rappers now, they don't really have their own fan base. It's usually a mixture of the barbs supporting. It was the same thing with Megan. You know, Megan has some of the barbs supporting her. After Hot Girl Summer. Now, do I believe that Doja Cat's an opportunist? Absolutely not. What I said in the reading is that she is treading lightly with Nicki Minaj. Okay, she's holding back. She's not really showcasing her true self with Nicki Minaj. You know, whether they talk behind the scenes or not. In the future, that could change. You know, as we saw with Lotto, and I'm not comparing Doja Cat and Lotto, but I'm just using Lotto as an example. How she really felt about Nicki Minaj, she showed when she was upset at Nicki. Before, um, when she was on good terms with Nicki, she wasn't talking about her family. People show their true colors when they are upset with you. And to me, it doesn't matter if Doja and Nicki are on good terms or bad terms, if they fall out in the future, because I was a Doja Cat fan before the Say So remix, okay? Um, I knew about Doja Cat before the Say So remix. And another thing, I love Doja Cat's music. I don't care for her personality. And I said that several times. So it really wouldn't matter if they fall out, in my opinion, because I like Doja Cat the musician, not Doja Cat the person. Speaking of Doja, the prince of pop to a lot of different people, not me, but to a lot of people, was at Doja's birthday party. And allegedly, he trying to work with the female rapper. He want to work with Doja. He want to work with Nicki. He is working on his next album. Now, the only female rapper that I don't know if he would actually work with is Megan. Only because, you know, he was in the studio with Tori a few months ago. Okay, he's cool with Tori behind the scenes. Um, so I'll be very shocked if he works with Megan. But all the other main female rappers like Nicki... Um, Doja, 11 Faces, I really wouldn't be shocked about. But let me know if you guys are here for a Justin and Doja collaboration, okay? Now, moving on to Megan Thee Stallion. Um, a lot of fans believe that Megan 
will be next to sue Tasha K. Because they are saying that Tasha K was lying about Megan messing up Tiana Taylor's home when she rented from her a few years ago. Okay. Fans are saying that Tasha K is lying and that Megan Thee Stallion could sue Tasha K. Now, here's the thing, though. Megan never really denied it. Okay. Yeah, she liked to tweet basically saying that she rented from um, Tiana Taylor back in 2020, back in 2019. But she never outright denied um, this allegation which I feel like would be important to deny if it's false. She denied giving Nicki Minaj substances when Nicki Minaj was talking on Queen Radio a few weeks ago. And she was on social media because she tweeted weird. So why not just come out and deny the allegations? When Megan's quiet, um, that tells me there could be some truth to it because these are some serious allegations. You smashing Tori and the baby at the same time in 2020. You messing up somebody's home. These are serious allegations that are important to deny. Don't just deny stuff that Nicki Minaj says on Queen Radio. If you're going to deny something, deny everything. Okay? So to me, I feel like, well, did Tasha K lie? Because if that was the case... She would have denied it, wouldn't she? Uh Uh-oh, the queen of surgery is not happy with the queen of pop. Okay, so the queen of pop posted on Instagram and she said, 30 years ago, I published a book called Sex. In addition to photos of me being naked, I spent the next few years being interviewed by narrow-minded people who tried to shame me for empowering myself as a woman. I was called a hoe and the man downstairs. And now 11 faces can sing about her WAP. Kim Kardashians can grace the cover of any magazine and be naked. And Purdue Chicken can be like a wrecking ball. You're welcome, B-words. Then she put the clown emoji. Now, if you're wondering why she was ranting about this, I think people were making fun of her for doing TikTok Okay, and like dancing on TikTok, still embracing her sexuality. And so with that being said, she's calling everybody else out. Like, why don't you, you know, go after these girls who I influenced? I'm shocked she didn't mention Rihanna, though. She must like Rihanna because Rihanna definitely was influenced by the Queen of Pop. Now, um, Eleven Faces basically posted an old interview she did with Madonna because I believe that they did some sort of brand deal together or some sort of photo shoot together with Kim Kardashian. And she said, I literally paid this woman homage so many times because I grew up listening to her. She can make her point without putting clown emojis and getting slick out the mouth. These icons really become disappointments once you make it into the industry. That's why I keep to myself. Did she just call the queen of pop a disappointment when she only got one album but multiple faces? Her and Lottery Ticket need to pipe down talking to these icons like that. They better put some respect on these icons who paved the way. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it was necessary for 11 Faces to even, you know, reply to Madonna. Because at the end of the day, you don't see Kim Kardashian doing so. They keep quiet for a reason. So it has been reported that Rihanna is releasing her next single on the 28th of October. Isn't Champagne Thickums and 21 Average dropping that day? Won't be listening. I'm tired of the 21 Average and Champagne Thickum collaborations. He do the same old collaborations, I tell you, like the same five people. And then um, Chloe is also dropping that day. Her and Lottery Ticket allegedly got a collaboration. I don't know if it's going to be on this next song, but Rihanna is definitely going to make the most noise. But it would be kind of funny to drop the same day as Champagne Thickums. I don't know if I really believe that, though. You know, Jeezy also said he had a Rihanna collaboration, and it turns out he didn't. So, you know, it seems as though people are just trying to clout chase off of Rihanna right now. King Kylie gets cheated on by Travis Scott. Um, not really shocked. Most of the Kardashians get cheated on. You know, Kim got cheated on. Chloe got cheated on. Courtney got cheated on. Um, I think Kendall, 
She's up next to get cheated on, and I think the high pass died down for the Kardashians. What I like about Kylie, though, she has toned it down. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's less about the antics. She just does her makeup collection, you know, and posts pictures on Instagram. She's not really doing too much. She killed her Fashion Week looks. I can't deny that she killed her Fashion Week looks. But the girl that um, Travis Scott allegedly cheated on her with, and she has video evidence, okay? So even though Travis Scott is denying this, she has evidence that she posted on her Instagram. And she kind of looks like a mini Kylie. So clearly he has a type. Um, do I feel bad for Kylie? Of course, she got two children with Travis. This is wrong on so many levels. But I think that these men are just with the Kardashians for clout. You know, nobody's really checking for Travis Scott, especially after the Astro Fest situation. You know, with all those people dying, nobody's checking for him. He's been releasing music. It's been flopping. And there's really no shade. Kylie keeps Travis Scott in the limelight. And he knows that. On the bright side, at least Kylie's not married to him. No shade. He's not going to get no money from her because she's almost a billionaire. So, you know, technically this is a W. You can just take care of kids and go your separate ways. Don't be like Chloe and go back now, Kylie. The evidence is right there. Anyway... Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video.